What up, what up, what up? You already know who it is. I go by the name of Scar Ninja, by the way. I know it's been a while. I've been MIA. I haven't posted in a while. But, uh, going through some personal issues, but, you know, I'm just gonna have to leave that to God, man. There's certain things that I cannot control. And when you cannot control it, you already know where to go. Go to the man above. That's the most high. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh. Jesus. Jehovah. So many names he go by. Well, let's talk about what's going on in, uh, industry. Because, uh, I see a lot of people coming at Jay-Z. Why, why has Jay-Z been coming up with you lately? Cause he's a monster. He's a monster. And I've known he's a monster for years. Mm -hmm. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh beautiful Beyonce five. I tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, the Beyonce is free. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Oh god, no. She better than me. I passed. I made a good choice. If Beyonce is in prison, she's in one of the most expensive prisons ever. Yes, she is, and she's watched 24 hours a day. She's not allowed to make a choice for herself, not at all, not in any way. Oh. People think she has an amazing life. She is told what to say. She is told what to eat. She is told what to drink. She is told what to wear. By whom? She is not, she is not her husband's wife. She is his employee. It's a business arrangement. She was a dowry. He married her and he got to have control of the Houston rap scene behind the scenes. Matthew Knowles handed it over to him and then he fucked daddy over, moved him out the way and took the whole bitch for itself. Mm, no. They were supposed to share that bitch. They supposed to share. But Sean Carter don't share so good. He likes to keep everything all to himself. And anything that he can't move around or move out the way he'll just remove. I'm tired of you, Sean. That Jacqueline Avon shit, you went too far. You and that fucking demon honeycomb. Y'all had that motherfucker shoot that 80 year old woman in the back so that you could dope up her husband and move him out the way and claim his spot as the Kings of LA. I promise you, you will both fall. Who's you will fall. You killed. You shot Nana in the back. That's mm -hmm. how bad y'all wanted it. You murdered an eighty-year-old woman so Ooh. you could drug a ninety-year-old man who didn't want to retire and turn it over to y'all greasy bitches. Cause uh, I see a lot of people coming at Jay Z. I mean, especially after the Tory Lane case. I don't know a Tory, but uh, not. So I ain't gonna say free him or lock him up. But at the end of the day, the court say he lost. So I guess that's what it is. That's how everybody else got to deal with that too. But I will say, if he did have anything to do with that, he could have came, like it shouldn't have been no beef whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? After it happened, if, if it was any guilt on his side, he should have played it. He should have kissed Meg to the till she didn't give a, like people play with the court system. You know what I'm saying? Like they think they can't be touched. These folks will hide your mother, man. These folks will hide your mother. So if he did do anything, he should have been way more humble and tried his best to get on her good side, apologize, figure out how to squash that. Because now look at him. It's a lot of craziness in the industry. I feel like with social media, YouTube, Instagram, everybody has a platform. So everybody are just going at each other. Everybody's tearing each other down. You know what? It's sad about this is like this is seem to be happening more in the black community i feel like black people are divided enough what i mean we are divided enough social media is giving everybody more tools so we could tear each other apart you know and when i'm looking at blacks going against blacks i don't care if it's a man going against a woman a gay dude going against a straight dude or a straight dude going against a gay dude i mean all i know is everything creates a divide and the more divided we are we're easily conquered so when i see jaguar right going at jay-z uh and going at jay-z i'm like like, seriously, Jay-Z is successful, dude. I mean, I'm calling her dude, or should I call her? I'm not sure. I mean, you know, like, dude, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure I should like to be addressed. But what I'm saying is, like, uh, Jay-Z is successful. I'm sure you're successful, too. But trying to pull this man down to your level to gain, 
to gain a bit, to gain attention. That's the only thing I think you're doing this for and to make some money. It's cool, you know? I mean, it's cool, you know? You can make some money off that, but honestly, so many other ways to make money, man. Tearing each other apart is not a way to go. I'm just saying, I'm just speaking on the state of the culture. I'm not sure if Jay-Z had anything to do with the Tory Lane case. She's speaking about Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship. That man is a married man and has his kids together. Got his kids together. There's so many families in the United States where it's a single parent household. Jay-Z, at, uh, at the start that he is, he's still able to keep a uh, wife and keep his kids together. That is structure. A lot of black families don't have no structure in America. So when I see structure within a black family, I respect that. You can say all type of nonsense about the man. Tell me who's perfect in this world. Tell me who is not a sinner. Tell me who don't got some skeleton in their closets. So when I see Jaguar rights and a bunch of females and males tearing each other apart on social media, I'm just like, guys, 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 seriously, whoever created Instagram, whoever created YouTube, and whoever is giving y'all whatever this monetized content, who's paying you for your content, they know what they're doing. It's still the powers that be. You know what I mean? So you can use this to build because social media is powerful. Or you can use this to destroy yourself. Uh, I say use this to build and not destroy yourself. So when I see all these black people, because I'm a black dude, I'm a Nigerian man. So, but I, I just identify as a black guy. When I say I identify as a black guy, you know, like King Solomon, you know, I'm black and comely. You know, there's nothing wrong with being black. It's actually great. You know, the people God spent a, a much time with in the Bible, honestly, are the black people. We are the most blessed people. Even though we're not keeping God's commandments and we've gone through a bunch of shit. But tearing each other apart and using social media as a tool to do it, that needs to stop, guys. That needs to stop. So, Jaguar Wright, look, I got love for you, man. You sound like a really clever person. But trying to bring your black man down, it's not setting a good example for people who are watching you. I understand you don't care and you're probably thinking about just yourself. How much attention you can get and how much money you can make off this shit. Man, y'all need to get off that shit, man. Let that man be. He's making on money. He's made his money. Go make yours. Stop it.